Today I'm going to teach you guys how to bend one inch rigid. Uh, this is the Greenlee 1800 and this is episode 12 of my advanced pipe bending class guys. We're going to uh, bend some one inch rigid today with the Greenlee 1800. This is a mechanical bender guys. Uh, very simple, easy to use. I'm going to show you the parts and we're going to bend a simple, simple stub up today. This is uh, one inch rigid. Usually you'd have to use a one and a quarter inch hand bender. That is called the bending degree indicator guys. And this is called the lever unit. I call it on the lever because you're on the lever, but you push that up, it releases it. And you're going to be able to put that boot back and down. All right. So th they made it simple. They printed everything on the side of this bender. Uh, for today's example, we're going to be bending a one inch conduit. We want to do uh, a stub up and th it gives us all the math right there. Okay, so it's telling us uh, we need to deduct 11 inches uh, for our stub up. Okay, and then over here we got some uh, offset charts and <clears throat> a bunch of other stuff. But when I bought this thing, I bought it on eBay. It didn't come with a handle, so I had to make a handle. Uh, I used a piece of uh, one inch rigid because it fits right in there. And then I can also use it for the other 1801, but it just slides right in and then I bend it. So today we're going to bend a 16 inch stub up guys and this is just it's simple uh, we're going to read the chart it lets us know deduct 11 so we're going to go ahead and mark that conduit out at uh, five inches and just so you know guys this is the pika pencil i'm getting a lot of way out comments about saying i'm using sharpie i don't use sharpie i use this pika pencil uh so there it is but i'm going to mark it out at five inches and then we're going to throw this thing on the uh, bender and bend it by hand. All right, we're going to go ahead and skeet around this pipe. Skeet, skeet, skeet. We got it marked. And then now we're going to push this lever unit up. And that's going to allow this to cycle the uh, bender back to zero degrees. You actually want to bring it back less than zero. Otherwise, the, the conduit will not fit into the shoe. So I'm going to get that in there, and then we want to line our mark up with the hook, the pipe hook. That's the pipe hook, okay? And then I gave it a half a click. It kind of snugs it in, but it's lined up right there, and then we are on the bend indicator. We have zero degrees, and so we're just going to go ahead and, and start uh, pulling on it. Took about six or seven pulls, and uh, right now I'm just kind of calibrating it too. I, like I said, I bought this thing; it came in pieces, and right there it's showing 75, 80 degrees. And we're going to go ahead and, and put some more into it. But at the end of the day, it bent it, and uh, the calculation was correct. We're we're right about 16 inches, maybe a little bit over, but but you know nothing that a bandsaw can't can't take care of but that's that's pretty much it guys um, this is the Greenlee 1801 that's the next one up you can bend up to one and a half inch rigid with that and if you can't do it with that I got the shoe to put on here and that will get me to two inches guys that's all I got tonight we got a great episode coming up we're gonna do episode 13 on the Greenlee triple nickel that was the one you just saw it's gonna be fire guys uh, smash that button and thank you for your time and consideration in this matter. Share me out.